Hello and welcome to Daybreak English. Today I'm going to look at some idioms that use words related to art. Hi, I'm Dawn. How are you doing today? Anyone who knows me well knows that I really love art. Painting, drawing, sculpture, anything to do with art. So today I'm going to talk about some idioms that contain words related to art. Here they are, seven idioms and expressions that I think might be useful for you. The first one is to draw a line with the indefinite article a. Uh. To draw a line between one thing and something else is to show that those two things are separate. It's like creating an invisible boundary. People often use this when they talk about two different parts of their lives. Example, you need to draw a line between work and home. Turn your work phone off in the evening. It is important to draw a line between management and employees. A similar expression with a slightly different meaning is draw the line with a the. This is also about creating an invisible boundary. But this time, it is about not going past a certain point. You will do something up to a certain point, but no further. Or you will only tolerate something to a certain point. For example, I don't mind a little mess, but I draw the line at muddy boots in the house. I will tolerate some mess, but not muddy boots. That's just too much. Another example, I don't mind your brother coming to stay, but I draw the line at him moving in. Next, we have back to the drawing board. Use this when an idea, plan or proposal has failed. So you need to start all over again. The drawing board refers to the place where an architect begins drawing up the house plans. So it's the place where it all starts. Going back to the drawing board can be pretty annoying, especially when you've put a lot of work into something, only to have to start again. We're not getting anywhere with this proposal. Why don't we just go back to the drawing board? But it can be a good thing if you've become a bit stuck on something. It can be quite freeing to throw everything out and start again. It's like having a blank canvas. Which leads me to the next expression, a blank canvas. It's something with no content. You can do whatever you want with it. Anything is possible. Like when an artist begins a painting, they start with a blank canvas. A child's mind is a blank canvas. Let me tell you something. I really love those TV shows about people buying houses. <laughs> you know the type of show? That's literally all they do look around houses and decide if they want to buy them. So addictive. Anyway, in these types of shows, you will hear this expression, blank canvas, all the time. A couple will see a house that has bare floorboards, the walls are not painted, it needs a new bathroom and kitchen, and they might say something like, I just love this house. It's a blank canvas. We can really put our stamp on it. Ooh, that neatly brings us to the next expression, to put your stamp on something. This is when you take something that already exists and add your own details to it so that your personality shows. You make your mark on it. If you have children, 
Maybe you've helped them to cut a pattern into a potato, dipped it in paint and stamped out a picture with it. A stamp makes a mark on something, just like in this expression. Here are some examples. Although the director didn't write the play, he really put his stamp on it. The new head teacher wants to put her own stamp on the school and has already started making changes. Artistic license. This is what we call it when facts or details are left out or changed to suit the artist or storyteller. They break the rules in some way because, well, it's their work, so they can. A fantastic example of this is the movie musical, The Greatest Showman, which is based on the life of P.T. Barnum. Now, the writers really used artistic license on this movie. They left out a lot of details, they made Events happen in a much shorter period of time. They invented characters and they changed an awful lot about the story. But oh my goodness, the end result was brilliant and so entertaining. The writers are completely forgiven for taking artistic license. Down to a fine art. We say this when a person can do something exceptionally well or quickly, usually because they have done it so many times before. They've practiced it over and over. They've almost made it into a work of art. Those bakers have pretzel making down to a fine art. Have you seen them? They just, <laughs> it's all done. Or maybe, Someone just thinks they're really good at something. This guy thinks he's got skateboarding down to a fine art. <laughs> he hasn't. Okay, so how about you practice some of these expressions in your own sentences? Write them in the comments section below. Come on, be brave. Thanks so much for watching. Wherever you are, have a good one. Catch you later. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. Remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let me know in the comments what kinds of videos you'd like to see in the future. See you again soon.